What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. In the past couple of weeks we have gone through the Criello and we have also gone through the Clad Ruba. Today we are going through the Breton which can be unlocked by progressing through the Bounty Hunter role. There are a total of six different types of coats that you can unlock with the Bretons when progressing through the Bounty Hunter. At rank 1 you can unlock a Red Roan and a Sorrel Breton. At rank 10 you can unlock a Grollo Dunn and a Seal Brown coat. And then finally at rank 20 you can unlock a Steel Grey and a merely dapple bay and rank 20 is what you're going to be going for yes some of the previous coats do look very nice but by going to get a rank 10 or a rank 1 breton it means that you are now losing out in the stats the rank 20 breton has considerably higher stats within speed stamina acceleration as well as a few other things and that can be increased dramatically by getting a better saddle as well as also going to get level 4 bonding so you still want to be focusing on that rank 20 breton even if the rank 1 or even a rank 10 breton has has a better color coat that you like more. Bretons are located under the multi and they are a work speed and war horse. Bretons are extremely well rounded. At rank 20 you can get a Breton with 5 starting health, 7 stamina, 6 speed which maxes out at 9 and 4 acceleration which maxes out at 10. At level 4 bonded this horse will also have 9 health and also max stamina. Meaning overall you have 9 health, max stamina which is 10, 9 speed and also 7 acceleration. With it only really lacking in acceleration. Like I said, to go and get these high stats and increase the stats of your horse, you need to go and get a new saddle and a good saddle at that. But the lengthiest thing to go and do is increase your horse bonding. And you must increase it to level 4 to go and get the maximum amount out of your horse. To do this, the quickest way I know is to go over to your horse, hold LT and go through all the different stuff that's on the side. That will be brushing, feeding, leading and also patting. What you're going to do is actually go through each and every one up until you go and see the symbol pop up on the right side of your screen to show that a plus sign and also a horse symbol which pretty much just indicates that your horse xp has gone up so that means you are gonna brush your horse and after one brush you'll see the horse symbol pop up and as soon as that pops up you're gonna go to the next thing the next thing is for you to go and feed your horse you're gonna feed it once you'll see the horse symbol pop up you're then gonna go and lead your horse the lead in is the one that takes the most time that takes around about 10 seconds of you just holding your horse and walking it some distance and then you'll see the horse symbol pop up and then find Finally, you are going to pat your horse and normally it takes one or two pats for you to go and see this pop up and then finally as soon as you've done that you are going to go straight back through this again this is still a lengthy process and it still takes a long time for you to go and get level 4 bonding but it is quicker than just riding around in your horse if you're not too bothered about getting level 4 bonding and you know that eventually you will get it done because naturally obviously you will get it done if you are playing this game then just carry on doing what you're doing it's not too much of a deal with the Bretons having really high health and and max stamina it means that they are great for being a bounty hunter it means you can get in conflict without your horse dying within the first couple of seconds or struggling to run away because it's run out of stamina because of their high bravery as well they are also very good hunting companions I'm not saying that you won't be bucked off the back of your horse if you get too close to a predator but this gives you more than enough time to react kill that predator and then calm your horse down if you go and put a very good saddle on the back of this horse this horse is very good for racing with it having nine speed so that means you can go into races and you can actually do really well with it with the stamina being as high as it is it means you can run with your horse for days and days and days without even having to go and pick up one of these stamina barrels just so you can carry on going to unlock the breton you must be a rank 20 bounty hunter use free unlock tokens and spend 950 dollars or go down the gold route and spend 38 gold bars and then on top of that just so you are getting the most out of your horse make sure that you go and put some money into a good saddle as well just so you can go and max out that speed and also acceleration the acceleration is the only downside to this horse but everything else is very high and it is very useful and this is why the breton is by far my favorite horse within red dead online but anyway guys leave all your thoughts in the comments down below do you like this horse is it your favorite or do you prefer one of the other horses which i have already done videos on if you want to see those videos i'll leave a link in the description down below but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now I'm going to see you